Ventus, you say that the Chicago Bulls want to trade for me. They want me to play on their team. Screw Scotty Pippen or whatever the heck he got going on. They want me. You mean to tell me? Like, bruh, I'm going to be telling everybody. You know what I'm saying? And definitely my generation, we have social media. And and, and even going down to the Ben Simmons situation, how uh, it was it was so it was it was so, I guess, broadcast or highly broadcast that he didn't want to play. He didn't want to work out for uh, the Philadelphia 76ers. And that could have been interpreted as if he didn't want to play for them or he just wasn't interested. But you go to a sit, you rewind back to a situation like Tracy McGrady and. You know what I'm saying? He holds that in. Like, I, that was breaking news, I suppose. Uh, like I said, I don't know if I'm the only one that just didn't get the memo or I didn't hear about this until now. I might be telling my age or whatnot. But seriously, that's a majorly, majorly interesting story. Thank you, Little Bighorn, for that question. Thank you for asking me that because it does kind of seem as if the it's like two parallel worlds. Like, if the trade actually went down, would Michael Jordan have retired again? Would Tracy McGrady have won a championship? Would he have brought uh, Chicago a championship? Would he have even been as good as Scottie Pippen? Would another, would a totally t- different team, you know what I'm saying, won a championship? Maybe the Hawks would have won a championship. You ever heard of the butterfly effect? Yeah, that one small intricate thing that possibly could have happened could have j- definitely changed everything. Hell, I would have possibly even I probably would have been the mayor of Atlanta by now if that actually went down. <laughs> I'm just saying, man. So definitely major, major, major shout out to Tracy McGrady, man. We're gonna go into a quick little break, ladies and gentlemen. But in the next segment, we have definitely got to talk about a magazine, a hip hop magazine that I really just I got beef with him. I got I got to talk about this. This is a bunch of BS, uh, and, and and I also got to definitely talk about uh, an NBA legend making it happen. So, ladies and gentlemen, y'all know what time it is. It is me, he is I, and I am him. I am he. They call the Alpha Male, and we are going to a break. Turn up. Have no wife. I just want you for the night. I know you want this for life. Taking pictures with all my. Effect Fitness. Summertime is here. Now, let's be honest. You found every excuse not to work out. You probably put it off each week telling yourself, I got time. Well, time is up. And if you're looking for a gym that is effective and motivating to get you to your goal, then you have no other choice than to choose Effect Fitness. Effect Fitness is an intensive boot camp experience like no other. If you're looking to increase your personal power, recognize your own strength and cultivate your mind and body then effect fitness is the boot camp for you are they downtown where are they located effect fitness is located in the heart of atlanta at one baltimore place northwest atlanta georgia 30308 i have a crazy schedule really and 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 i'm a morning person i like coffee so I, i really need a gym that's going to be open before the first waffle drops at waffle house Effect Fitness has morning classes Monday through Friday at 5.30 a.m. and 6.30 a.m. But I work a 9 to 5, and I had a gym that's going to be there the moment I get out of traffic. You know how this Atlanta traffic is. Effect Fitness also has afternoon classes Monday through Friday at 4.30 p.m., 5.30 p.m., 6.30 p.m., and 7.30 p.m. This is so exciting, but are they open on the weekends? Yes, Effect Fitness is also open during the weekend with classes on Saturday at 8 a.m. and 10 a.m. and Sunday before you go to church at 9 a.m. And there you have it. What other boot camp is open seven days of the week with classes in the mornings and in the evenings to help get you to your goal? Like we said, if you're looking to increase your personal power, recognize your own strength, and cultivate your mind and body, then Effect Fitness is the boot camp for you. You, 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 you. Effect Fitness. Call the alpha male, man. We are back 
We are back with another segment. What you guys are listening to is uh, 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 an artist that I really like. You know what I'm saying? Um, Lil Dicky, a white Jewish kid. You know what I'm saying? A part of the 2016 freshman class. The 2016 XXL freshman class. Let me get that straight. Uh, I'm definitely going to be talking about that you know, in a couple seconds because I got some stuff I got to get off my chest about this whole XXL thing. But... Before we get into any of that, man, I want to let you guys know, man, I thank everybody who is listening uh, to Alpha Male Sports right now, man. Definitely appreciate all the support. Um, This is my first day. You know what I'm saying? It's my first day on the job. Uh, You know, Doug definitely gave me an opportunity to, you know, you know, put my beard in, you know what I'm saying? Do my thing on this on the radio. So, you know, definitely excited, man. So, and I'm gonna probably keep talking about this all day, probably all week. So, you know, definitely I'm gonna just keep thanking all you guys, the Stewies and and everybody on Stuart Media Entertainment, man. This is a lovely place. And I'm digging the studio, Doug. I'm digging the digs, bro. Like flat out. I'm digging the digs for real. But anywho, um, before we get into the double XL stuff, you know, before we get into any of that extra stuff, you know, of course, earlier in the show, we were talking about uh, the NBA draft and, you know, Ben Simmons and all those kids. You know, I don't know how to get my spiel about that. But, um, of course, Jimmy Kimmel, you know, I watch I watch Jimmy Kimmel whenever I get a chance, you know, um, and if I don't catch it, you know, if I don't catch Jimmy Kimmel, you know, live or, you know, when I get home, I always watch him on like, you know, Instagram where I just catch all of his stuff on uh, Facebook, you know, people always share his videos. So one of the videos that he shared, well, that one of my friends shared on Facebook and stuff like that. Uh, you listen to Alpha Male Sports. Uh, it, it was a very interesting video. <laughs> uh, Jimmy Kimmel had, uh, who was it? Uh, Aloe Black, you know, I'm the man, I'm the man, that, that guy. Yeah. Aloe Black. Uh, and, and he had an, 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 an NBA superstar hall of fame, uh, legend if you will and the 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 if you haven't seen it don't spoil it for anybody but if you have you know exactly where i'm going with this i'm gonna just be quiet i'm gonna let y'all take a listen there's just two words you need to say to feel seven feet two inches tall the game that's all you need to say the game Wash your cares away When your cat stuck up a tree you can When it. your pet chimp falls in the sea Mutombo. When you spill dessert on your new half shirt Well then just repeat after me you can't I'm seven two, size 22 shoe Making people happy is what I do with a magic flow, you will feel your spirit grow from the D to the Gambit to the Mutombo. The Gambit. <laughs> so of course, you know, as I turn this down, man, uh, the kid made me tumble. Former Atlanta Hawk, man. Shouts out to homie, man. Uh, that freestyle or that rhyme that he kicked was dope. <laughs> from the D to the K, what was it? Oh, from the D to the Kimbe to the Mutombo. That was dope, bro. I, I love that one, man. The kid made me tumble. Jimmy Kimmel, Aloe Black. I just had to put that out there, man. That was funny as all get out, you know. Uh, Jimmy Kimmel is always doing these funny videos and 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 just I, I like his show. Out of all the late night shows, I just to be honest, you know, I'm going off on a tangent real quick, you know, going off subject, but out of all the uh late night shows and stuff like that, I dig Jimmy Kimmel. So maybe shouts out to Jimmy Kimmel, man. I, I can tell he is an avid basketball fan. You know, even with all the final stuff, he had a lot of basketball stuff going on. So I dig Jimmy Kimmel. Now let me go ahead and get into um, what it is that I had started talking about. Um, you know, earlier on, we was talking about uh, Lil Dicky and uh, the freshman class of the uh, the double XL freshman class. And one of the things, of course, as I seen on social media, because I'm, I'm a big social media guy. I'm a millennial. Uh, unlike a lot of you people out there, <laughs> I'm a millennial. You know what I'm saying? So. And that, that's what we millennials do. If you ever go to like an event or somewhere and you notice that everybody's not being social, but we're on social media. I don't necessarily like it, but that's just what it is. So I'm on social media and I'm looking at this 2016 double XL freshman class. Now, if you know what I'm talking about, you know, there's been a lot of heavy hitters in the rap game now that, you know, are a part. They, they, they have been a part of the freshman class at one point in time, you know, Atlanta's own B.O.B., Atlanta's own future. Um, uh, we've even had folks like, uh, 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 I'm trying to think of some other names. Um, uh, Kendrick Lamar, Kendrick Lamar was a, was, was a part of the freshman class. So at a time it, it was supposed to be where if you had talent, if you were good at what you did, you know what I'm saying? If you were a good rapper, you know, 
you were a part of this. So, of course, I'm going to give you guys the list of the 2016 XXL freshman class. You got designer, you know, Mr. Panda guy. Panda, panda, panda. <laughs> uh, you got Kodak Black out of Miami. Um, you got Denzel Curry. You got Anderson Pack, G Herbo, G Herbo, G Her Herbo. I, I, I'm not sure who he is, where he's from. Dave East, Lil Uzi, 21 Savage, who is from Atlanta, and of course another guy, Lil Yachty, who is also from Atlanta. And finally, the the, the artist that I had played coming into the break or coming out of the break, Lil Dicky, uh, little white Jewish kid. You know, I'm talking about saving that money. Honestly, I can only account for two artists that I listen to on purpose. Swear, swear on everything, you know. Only reason I ever listened to Designer was because, for one, everybody thought he was future. <laughs> and for two, you know, everybody's talking about Panda, 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 Panda. So, it wasn't like I had a choice. You know what I'm saying? It really wasn't like I, I, I really had a choice. You know what I'm saying? Not throwing shade on the guy. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I hope that he uh, he has a lot of, uh, you know, success in the future. But, you know, I don't necessarily rock with Designer like that. You feel what I'm saying? So... The two artists that I listen to on purpose really is Lil Yachty and, and, and Lil Dicky. reason why I listen to Lil Yachty, he has this one song, which is kind of catchy, uh, One Night. Uh, if you haven't heard it, you know what I'm saying? I'm not sure if, if too, too many of you guys have actually heard these songs. You know, like I said, I think I'm like the only millennial <laughs> in Stuart Media Entertainment right now. I'm like the only millennial I can account for. You know what I'm saying? I'm 27 years old. So I'm not sure if you guys have listened to this stuff, but... Uh, Lil Yachty, you know, he has a little, he, he's like a kid that got like red, he has like red braids and he got the Serena and Venus William beads on the end of his braids. Real weird. You know what I'm saying? I can tell you like, he's kind of weird. He has a weird style, but it's kind of cool. I like it a little bit. So those are the only two. And then of course, like I said, I, I speak highly of Lil Dicky because he has a dope freestyle. Like the kid got mad flow. It's like, I'm so serious when I tell you this, like the kid got mad flow. And, and, and I'm getting somewhere with this. Double uh, XL basically has this like cool magazine layout or whatnot, um, where they feature all of these artists in the Double XL magazine. Um, and basically, it just features all these new artists. It gives them an opportunity to tell tell everybody who they are, where they from, the type of music that they bring, what they bring to the rap game, what makes them different. Which some of them, honestly, on this list, really don't seem that different. Um, and then they give them this one little feature where they're able to freestyle, right? They're able to like freestyle, like actually spit like a hot 16 or, you know, however, however long they want to do it, they get the freestyle, right? And this is kind of why I brought everything up, right? Lil Dicky has possibly the dopest flow out of all of them. And it's a white kid. I do have to mind you, this is a white kid. Got possibly the dopest flow. I want you guys to listen to it real quick. Pete bang like I caught a body. It wasn't even D thang shit, it's all a hobby. It's too bad they're just sleeping on me threesome. Cause everybody wanna help, but he don't need none. I'm all time like the wall at the bank. You no shot like you're drawing a blank. Honestly, you probably couldn't hang, man. I've been drawing the blank, giving you lines while you're sitting there and drawing the blank. So go on the rank, chilling like it's dough in the bank. Flowing danker than a grow, and never growing. The stank is cannabis gone. Rapping promo, smacking the hoes. Rappers and showing the total package like my flaccid is growing. Fat as some more. And crack a rapper, I'm about to keep going. Yeah, the rappers are rapping. I know you rappers never don't know it. This a dagger to pit a patter tapping on the windows. A real accurate metaphor of what you have in the store, and I'll be snapping. The splashing on the pain, me your rain falling quicker than a ladder for his dame. Are you better than me? Wow. <laughs> Flat out, bro. Like, seriously. Yeah. None of it's written. None of it was written. This kid, I, I, like, I lost uh, some part, but I know I seen, I heard what he was saying as far as, like, Hangman and, 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 and saying that you was drawing a blank and all that other extra stuff, bro. That was dope. God, I wish I could be. You know what? I'm going to put out a campaign. It's going to be called Hashtag Let Me Be Great because I think I can rap. I don't know if I can do it just like him, but I think I can rap. So much so. And I got to bring up another artist from um, the XXL 2016 uh, freshman class that I believe I can rap better than. Swear to God. I think I can rap better than this guy. Of course, I'm talking about Mr. Panda guy. Uh, like, I, I don't, I don't understand what the heck he was saying in this, but I just want you guys to, I'm gonna, let, I'm gonna see if you guys can decipher what he was saying, okay? And and y'all take a listen. Tim, 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 keep a wishing for a burner. Kill everybody walking. You know that it's on the finest for bitch to beat it. How they want you to find no beat it? Riding for Wally. Kill everybody walking. You know that it's on the finest. Tim, 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 turn it. He will wish you for a burner. To kill anybody walking. You know that it's all in the furnace. Fuck it to beat it. How you walk it, she fucking no beat it. Wild it for wild it. Kill anybody walking. You know that it's all in the furnace. What? Bro. 
Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. You mean to tell me that you 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 get all these accolades, you get this